I'm actually a seventh generation uh, rancher, come from a long, long line of ranchers. Uh, been around ranches from the time I was knee high to a grasshopper till, till now. Hurry up and eat, baby goose, so we can go get these heifers in before it gets too hot. You know, people have gone to using four wheelers and that sort of stuff, you know, in some parts of the country. And, and they, they have their part in operation, but it's still the best way to work cattle is horseback. After we get done, you know, feeding horses and checking on stuff, you know, around here that needs to be tended to in the morning, walk out here every morning and check this rain gauge and make sure that, you know, we didn't have any, or, or see if we were lucky enough to receive any, you know, precipitation throughout the night. Another, another day, another zero in West Texas. It, it's easy. It's just, it just becomes part, you know, second habit to walk out here and just check it and see you know, see what we got you know, through the night. A lot of zeros here, but we did have a good rain. You know, we had three three good days of rain back in the, you know, the middle of March. The information coming back, it does help. I mean, it lets you know that you're part of a, you know, of a bigger program than just, you know, one simple rain gauge out here in West Texas. To me, there's, there's no obligation to, you know, to turn that data in every morning. Uh, it's just become part of the routine. Two, three, four, five. I guess I come from a long line of cloud watchers. My grandpa ranches, my dad ranches, and it, you know, I mean, it has such a direct impact on what we do that you're just always naturally, you know, curious about the weather. Jump! Cattle only graze, you know, so far away from water before it just becomes, you know, a burden to them to have to go too far from water. If they can't get back and get hydrated, they're not going to travel as far. What makes for a happy cow is, you know, all of this good lush forage. This fillery with the little spikelets on it, that's California fillery. And then this taller, it grows different, but it's, it's the same. That's Texas fillery. That's what's gonna make up the majority of their diet. This is green for here for this type, you know, for this year, just based on the amount of winter moisture that we had. We've also had some early spring rains, which really has helped. And then uh, we had some late summer rains and some, some fall rains, which built the moisture content up in the soil for us. When you do this as a, you know, as a job and a lifestyle, any rain we get, it's a very joyous occasion. Rainfall is not a 100% guarantee, and so to be able to take care of both the land and the cattle, you know, to the best of the ability of what you've been given. Wet weather directly affects I mean, our our livelihood down to its very core, and if we don't if we don't take care of the ranch and take care of you know, the ground that we've been given to take care of, there's nothing there for us to be able to, to put on it to, to produce an income. And so at the very core of what we do, it, it is taking care of the environment. So that this is here for, for the next generation and the generation behind that. If we abuse it and, and don't take care of what we have, there's nothing here for us to manage or, or to produce a, a livelihood off of.